Well, good morning. We are in Ubud, Bali. There's nowhere that I can think that is better for us to have this discussion than here in Ubud, Bali. I am on one of the many day hikes that you can get to from the center city of Ubud. You see, Ubud is not a very peaceful place. <laughs> Ubud is busy. There's a lot going on there. There's so many cars and scooters and just traffic in general and pedestrians everywhere. But you are just a short walk away from day hikes. Day hikes that will get you away from all of that, just like this. You can find yourself in beautiful areas very quickly where you're really the only person. Uh, there are some times people that come by that are backpackers and things like that, they'll come by. But for the most part, no, it's just you. Look at how beautiful it is. What we're gonna talk about today is just that, finding peace. And how for me, getting far away from my home country is how I was able to do that. Being here in Ubud, it's really one of the most beautiful places that I enjoy traveling to. And even though it can be quite busy in the city, <laughs> or the center city they call it, yeah. But once you get outside, it's just you and nature. And I love it for that reason. My day hikes, my morning walks, some of the best I have anywhere in the world here in Bali. While I'm talking to you about this idea of finding peace, I'm also going to show you how I got from Kuta Beach here. I'll show you step by step. I'm going to also show you the place that I'm staying at, a really nice place. There's so many cool little family owned hotels here in Bali and up here in Ubud, really neat ones. I'm going to show it to you. And we're going to, of course, going to get ourselves a wonderful bite to eat as well. Whew, the sun is just beating down, but you know what? I'm actually at a decent altitude, so it's not too hot right now. And I've got a nice breeze blowing. We've got a lot to cover in this, and I'm glad that you're with me here in Ubud. Let's go. Getting from Kuta Beach area to Ubud is very easy. I like to use the Parama bus. This bus costs 100 thousand of the local currency which comes up to about maybe seven dollars american and it gets you there in about one hour this is the seating area while you're waiting for your bus it's beautiful and they have wi-fi they have like a little waterfall inside they have a coffee shop inside you can even order breakfast while you're waiting this is what the schedule looks like and so you can freeze this and you simply jump on a bus and you go up there comfortable. It gets you right into Ubud. I use it both directions and I love it. The price is right. I always like Parama. And we are back in Ubud on our day hike. Let's continue with our conversation. We're way up. You get up in the altitude like this, it's not so hot like it is in the city, but the sun really beats down on you. I do love these walks up here though. These day hikes in Ubud are lovely. And it made me think about how I found peace and how I escaped from the hustle and the bustle of my home country to find places like this. You see, what we don't want in life is chaos. That's what we don't want. We work hard, we invest our money, we don't commit crimes, we don't do things to hurt other people. And likewise, we don't wanna live in a place where all that is happening. We don't want to live in chaos. I don't want to live in chaos. And so I have found myself searching the world for places where that isn't the case. Places that are not in a state of violence and upheaval and high cost of living and crime and no justice system to deal with the crime. What are you willing to do to get away from chaos? I'm curious, what are you willing to do for me, I was willing to sell everything, invest it, grab a backpack in my passport, and basically get lost on this planet. Go far away. That's what I was willing to do. What I'm wondering is, what are you willing to do to escape chaos 
and find peace. I had to find the road to peace. The road to peace was not short, it was long. The first step was to really realize what it is that I wanted. And I wanted to live in places where I didn't feel stressed out, where there wasn't chaos and crime and violence, where people didn't yell about politics all day, where I wasn't charged an arm and a leg just to try to survive. That road wasn't short. I had to first find it, realize what I wanted, and then start working towards my goal of finding peace, getting rid of chaos from my life. One of the wonderful restaurants here in Ubud is Tropical View. The grounds are absolutely stunning. It's such a wonderful setting while you're relaxing and having a good meal. The prices are fantastic. The food is delicious. I really enjoy going to Tropical View. Thank you. Oh my, that looks wonderful. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That looks fantastic, thank you. Oh my. <laughs> Look at that. The next step was to make a plan. A plan of how I was gonna perform my escape. <laughs> and how I did it was creating that passive income, getting rid of all the things that I had to pay for every month, all my monthly bills, and actually removing myself from those areas, start traveling the world. You see, there's a whole world out there. We're not stuck in one place. If you think there's chaos and crime and high cost of living, all kinds of problems can be going on in your life. You can change your location. You can find a different place to live. You know what, I think it's worth it. I sold everything, emptied my storage and basically just streamlined my life. There is something very peaceful about escaping running far away, finding yourself, enjoying beautiful day hikes like this. Look at the valley here behind me. Just beautiful. I love it. I hope that watching some of these videos, you are inspired to do the same because you don't deserve to live in a place that's just going to be full of chaos. You don't deserve that life. You haven't done anything to deserve it. You deserve to live in peace as much as anyone else. And I hope that you find it. Here in Ubud, I am staying at the Warsa Bungalows. This is a cute place. The rooms are quite large. You've got air conditioning, strong Wi-Fi. All utilities come with it. About $18 a night. Perfect. And again, quite large. In fact, the largest bathroom that I've seen in pretty much any of these hotels. And what a cute just place to stay. Look at the nice swimming pool and everything. I love it. It's a nice place to stay right in Center City, and it is about a 15 to 30 minute walk to all the hikes that I like. So it's a nice central location. You're also just right around the corner from a bunch of the restaurants and the little cafes that are here. Right across the street is a 24 hour mini mart. That's convenient. I'm really enjoying this morning walk and I'm glad that we're having this conversation today. I appreciate the time that you spent with me today. I took the bus up here to Ubud, found myself a nice day hike, 
and I'm relaxing and enjoying myself. And you know what? I wanted to share it with you. I wanted to share with you when I find these times in life that I have successfully escaped chaos because I want the same for you. If you're interested in living overseas, a low cost living, a peaceful living, like and subscribe to the video and come on along. We've got a lot more countries to see after this. We just keep finding them throughout Southeast Asia and throughout the world. I'm gonna continue on with my hike, but we'll talk again soon. Aloha. Not uncommon to see monkeys pretty much around Ubud. Uh, they are in certain areas more concentrated near the monkey uh, forest area. But I will tell you, they are around all of Ubud. So just be careful. You don't want to set your cell phone down. Um, I've never heard of them being dangerous, but they'll grab a cell phone. Look at the mad dog right here coming at me. Look at that, the mad dog of the trail, right here. The mad dog of the Ubu trail. How you doing there, buddy? Hey, bro. The mad dog on patrol right there. Yes, he is. Don't even mess with that one. The mad dog of the trail.